Hey y'all, welcome back to A Dash of Gratitude. My name is Beth and today I've got a quick Costco haul for you. So let's get to it. Here is just a quick overview of the haul. There's a couple other items that are outside. So let's go ahead and get started here. We went ahead and got this Normandy style vegetable blend for the freezer. We just used up the last of our frozen vegetables, so we needed to restock. We got some eggs. We got this organic whole milk. It's a set of three, and the sell-by date was pretty far out, so we thought that was a good deal. We restocked on this Krusty's Light and Fluffy Buttermilk Pancake Mix. This pancake mix is so good, you guys. It's easy. Serena loves to make pancakes, and we love to make waffles. And the last time we made waffles, we batch cooked a lot of them and stuck them in the freezer. And so we we're almost out of those. And um, anyway, it was time to get more mix. So it's just really, it makes for an easy breakfast. Okay. When we saw these in the refrigerator section at Costco, I was so excited. They had, they didn't have very many of them, but they had these Olipops, the strawberry vanilla, which is a really good flavor. If you haven't tried these yet, um, you should. I think they're so good. They have probiotics, three grams of sugar, and a third of your daily fiber. They're just a really nice... So my favorite drink is water. That's what I drink most of the time. And so I just like to have something a little bit different with some flavor that's not super duper unhealthy for you. So anyway, I really enjoy these. They're refreshing and delicious. I've liked all the flavors that I've tried so far. They have these mini wontons on sale, so we went ahead and got them. I love cilantro. We like chicken. We thought it would be really good, you know, just to have and enjoy as a part of a dinner sometime. We picked up two of these very large frozen, um, frozen french fries, and then we needed more bread, so we got one of these for the pantry and one for the freezer. This is our favorite store-bought bread to have in the house. Um, we got some more hamburger buns. We got these chicken nuggets. The kids really like this brand. I'm not real big on chicken nuggets, but it makes for an easy lunch or dinner. And then we also got this one. They had these on sale, so we decided to give them a try as well. I always, always like to keep baking soda in the house. And so I picked up one of those and then a double box of the Honey Nut Cheerios. Brandon needed some more shave gel. We needed more coffee. And this Pete's coffee is so good. It's one of our favorites. So we went with that one, ground it in the store before we came home. All right, collagen peptides. I've been out for a while and I wanted to give this a try. I've never tried this brand before, but it looked pretty good. And what I like to do is just mix it into my coffee in the morning. Um, so I thought I would give that brand a try. This also, I was so excited about this. I picked up this book, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm so excited. I just read another book by her. Um, it was called One True Loves, and I couldn't put it down. I read it in one day, which is pretty, pretty awesome. It caught me, and I really enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to reading this book. After we left Costco, we went next door to the liquor store, which is attached to our Costco. Well, it's right next door to Costco, and we just picked up a few items. We got this bottle of Chardonnay. I'll admit I went by the label. I thought it was pretty, so we'll see how it tastes. I hope it's good. And then Brandon picked out these couple of beers. This one is Wild Leap Craft Beer Alpha Abstraction Double India Pale Ale. That sounds pretty good. Um, so Brandon picked that one, and then he also picked this Wild Leap craft beer. It's called Champs, also India Pale Ale. Those might be really delicious. And then I picked this one, the Savannah River Brewing Company. I've had it before. It's called No Jacket Required. Kind of a little nod to the Augusta National with the green jacket. It's a Czech style Pilsner, which spoke to me because way back in the day, my family my dad on my dad's side comes from Czechoslovakia. So when I saw that, I wanted to try it and it's actually very enjoyable. So we're looking forward to trying some of these. I am so excited about this plant. So the last time we were at Costco, which was just about a week ago, we did a small grocery shop at Costco about a week ago and they had the sign for this, but they were all sold out. 
So what this is, it's a three in one, three different trees in this one pot. There is a Persian lime, great for food and drinks. There is an improved Meyer lemon with incredibly fragrant blooms. And then over here is the thornless key lime. Okay, so it comes in this little pot and I was reading the directions and it says you leave it in this pot for the first two years and then you plant it where it's going to get sun and shade. I'm so excited about this because I've been wanting to bring more fruit onto our property um, and I really wanted to get some citrus. I think this would be beautiful out here on our patio. I'm going to find just the right spot for it and I'm just really excited. I hope it does well. I have a decent green thumb. So anyway, I was really excited about that. I just think it's so pretty. All right, so I'm out in my garage. It's a little bit loud. We live pretty close to uh, the interstate, but we also got this pack of sparkling waters. It's a Kirkland brand. It's got lemon, grapefruit, and lime. We enjoy having those in our fridge. And then I also went ahead and got this potting mix. It's organic choice, good for use in containers. And you know, gardening season is upon us coming up here right now. So we got two bags of that. And let me just show you real quick what I'm working with for my garden this year. So over here, right outside of our garage is where I keep my garden space. Our backyard is absolutely gorgeous, but we have so many trees, it's not ideal for a garden. So last year I tried a garden gardening in these buckets and I'm hoping this year will be more successful. I haven't even started cleaning up these containers yet, but I'm going to do it this week because I've got baby plants coming. I'm going to pick them up tomorrow. So anyway, here's my little garden area. I'm sure I'll be documenting and bringing y'all along with just a little bit at least. I do enjoy having a garden. This is a blueberry. She hasn't started blooming yet. And this blueberry bush over here, she always blooms first. It's a different variety. I don't remember off the top of my head. Let's see. This one is the rabbit eye blueberry. Yeah. And I don't remember what the other one is. It's on the label, but it doesn't matter. This one always blooms first. It's already got some berries on there. Check out those little babies. I do love to grow things. And while I'm showing you the other things I've got here, just real quick, is my blackberry bush. I'm keeping it in a pot because they do spread and I don't want them to go crazy all over the place and it's still very young this will be the first year it's going to actually produce fruit and look here let's see oh right here look at this little tiny little berry coming right there so it really is going to happen this is the year isn't that flower so pretty anyway my blackberry bush over here I've got an elderberry bush it's right inside this green um it's inside the red tomato cage it's still a baby too i bought it from a friend who was moving last year and they're just tiny little sprouts but it's gonna grow it's gonna do so well and we'll have elderberries so i'm looking forward to that too how could i have forgotten this boogie board we also picked this up today look at this Looks like so much fun. We might have to catch a wave, huh, Robbie? Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, we got this today at Costco Beach. Season is fast approaching, and who knows? We might make a trip to the lake or the beach, something like that this summer. So um, we thought this was really cool and Love decided you. to get it today. Love you, Mommy. Love you, too. I didn't get a whole lot of footage from inside Costco but I did want to show you a few items that stood out to me that I hadn't seen before or that I just thought were really cool. So I hope you enjoy browsing through Costco. I don't know about anybody else, but ever since 2020, when there were so many shortages on toilet paper and bottled water every single time i'm in costco i walk to the back of the store and i look to see what their inventory is like back there and if i see it you know it's stocked to the rafters it just makes me feel better you guys i wonder how long that will last that 
noticing of things like that. After shopping through Costco, we walked next door to Augusta Liquors, and I just thought I would take you along and show you a few items again that stood out to me over there. Some local items, and then just, I mean, like this wine bottle label right here, it caught my eye. I just thought it was pretty. I have no idea about this wine, but I just thought the pink and the green looked really good together. Anyway, I do hope you enjoy coming along and browsing through with us. If you would, please take a moment to see if you're subscribed to my channel, and if you're not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate you being a part of my YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching the haul today. I hope you enjoyed it and seeing a little glimpse of my container garden. Um, if that's something that you're interested in coming along with on the journey of container gardening, let me know if that would be something that you would be interested in seeing. Um, I don't have all the answers. I'm by no means an expert, but I like to learn and I like to do the best I can. I love growing things and, um, you know, every year is a little bit different. Thank you so much for adding a dash of gratitude to your day. I'll see you on the next video. Hey y'all, welcome back to A Dash of Gratitude. My name is Beth and today I've got a quick Costco haul for you. Uh, Water and milk. Water and milk. Oh yeah. You can put the milk right there by the pancake.